Absolutely. <laughs> fucking fire hazard. Hi, everyone. Yeah, this is exciting. Fucking half-packed yeah. main room. Here we are. This yeah. is how we like it. Holy shit. Hi, everyone. Happy Monday to you. Welcome to the number one live podcast in the world. Kill Tony. Uh, you know what I love? Delicious Mangria. It is so delicious. Hi, Brian. Put your hands together for Brian Redband, everybody. Here he is. Hi. Oh, good Lord. What another beautiful day at the office. Uh, this episode special for Muhammad Ali, everybody who we lost this week. Not a lot of people know Muhammad Ali was a big fan of the show. And, uh, yeah, we're, a bit, we're deeply moved. <laughs> anyway. Um, welcome back. Hello, f new people. You're going to have a lot of fun. Um, what else? We have dates coming up. Wilbur Theater, Boston, Massachusetts. Go to, go to our websites and find our dates. I'm sick of promoting dates. I am going to be in Denver, Colorado, though, uh, this Thursday at the Comedy Works, and we're going to be partying with Mangria on Saturday. We get a thousand bucks every time we say the word Mangria tonight, if you haven't noticed. Uh, oh, Mangria. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. For those of you watching the live stream, they're in Denver. A couple of days from now. So, should we just keep getting into it? Let's just go right into it. Uh, first uh, thing I'm going to do is uh, one of our favorite things on the show is the band. You, you live audience already got to see some of them here tonight. Um, and what? Oh, Ryan J. E. Belt's back. I just noticed that. Oh, yes. <laughs> without, his, without his spotlight, I miss him in this room. House <laughs> artist Ryan J. E. Belt drawing tonight's episode. He's got a blank piece of paper in front of him right now. After the show, you're going to see that he draws the whole fucking thing all at once. And right now, I'm going to bring up the band. You know them. You love them. You've already seen them here tonight. Uh, they do this thing where I have to bring them back out, and they always have a silly intro. Let's see if tonight is any different. Put your hands together for my favorite band in the world and the Kill Tony band, Reagan and Watkins, everybody. Wow. Wow. For those of you listening to the podcast, uh, you just missed a whole lot of live action. And the cheapest pizza you can buy on a budget. <laughs> they handed out pizza and they're dressed as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, everybody. Throwback to uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo, go ahead. Hey, we just had a new movie come out this weekend. <laughs> I love that. Well, I'm glad you guys could fit it. Are you guys fans of the show? I didn't even know. Oh, big Death Squad fans. Dude, fine, dude. <laughs> I didn't know they talked like that. <laughs> Maybe I didn't watch enough of them. Yeah. Uh, I love that. Hey, Jeremiah, what's our favorite food on the count of three? One, two, three. Pussy. Pizza. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Joel Jimenez, uh, Donatello tonight, Jeremiah Watkins, Michelangelo, and Pat Reagan, I guess, is purple one Raphael? Because Raphael. he's an artist. What? Donatello? Because right, he's Jesus, an artist. Fuck, dude. There's some fucking open uh. micers over here that got pissed at that. Not to Those call you were guys the open wolves micers. from last night, Tony. Where's April, guys? Where's April at? But Jesus. <laughs> Leonardo's extra <laughs> furious. His name is Raph, bitch. Oh, that's, that's Raphael. That nah. makes sense, because that seems like the most Latino of it's the It's not April. <laughs> Double J, Joel Jimenez on the percussion tonight. Reagan and Watkins, guys. Hey, we got to... Uh, hey, Tony. Oh, we yeah. have something to unveil. Surprise. Surprise. Oh, here, here, here. is that shirt for me? Is that is that hoodie on the drum for me? Whoa! A new Kill Tony bass drum. Holy shit. Wow. I thought the shirt that was covering it was the surprise for a second. <laughs> turns, that is awesome. Eating pizza before playing socks is a bad idea. <laughs> oh, my God. One of the things Jeremiah committed to uh, was e screaming, yeah, as loudly as he could in my face while having pizza in his mouth. <laughs> that was and awesome. really tested our friendship. Uh, I'm just going to break the fourth wall for you. I could tell you were uncomfortable. <laughs> I really was. I mean, the smell, it was almost worse than cheese pizza. It was. It was like a mixture of hot mouth and cheese pizza. All right. 
There you go. You guys ready to meet tonight's guest comedians? How about that? Yeah. We're almost there. We're building the framework. Every single week, I have two of the funniest comedians in the world on this show. And this week's no different. Put your hands together from Workaholics, The Tonight Show, so many great things. Put your hands together for Eric Griffin and Michael Costa. Uh, 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 uh. Make yourself at home. You know them. You love them. They are here. It's Eric Griffin and Michael Costa. This guy. <laughs> Eric, how's it going? I'm good. I'm good. Good to see you. Good to see you. As always. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, I love Michael this Costa, show. Costa, same. Dude, the going, belly guys? room is off the charts tonight. Huh? There's a band here. This is my first time in the main room. For this, this is the show. big belly room. This is the big belly room. Ah, Son of a bitch. Man. Love that. Play the cat sound for there, us. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that's going to happen to me a lot tonight. <laughs> Wait, guess who I saw today? Everyone I looked at. Oh! oh. Whoa. <laughs> this show's out of control. <laughs> what? That was incredible. Why is there a little Caesar's pizza on stage? Is this where we're at? I don't at? know if you noticed, but uh, Pat and Jeremiah are wearing Ninja Turtles masks. I, I know it's hard to tell. We had a movie come out this weekend. <laughs> How did it do? Dude, it bombed. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. How's, uh, how's Master Splinter been? Any word on him? Can we get him to come out sometime, you think? Yeah, he's crawling around somewhere. <laughs> sure we can dig him up. Jerem Michelangelo, what do you think? <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're just you're on fire over there. Oh, you like that? <laughs> it's literally called Guitar Fire. <laughs> One and two. Yep. I think our master splinter would be you, Sensei Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah. Wow, that's a really weird thing to say. Uh, really hard for me to play with that improv ball you just threw me. But I, I guess you're saying that because I guess you're saying that because I sort of look like a rat, right? Yeah. It's a splinter joke. Okay, guys. Take it as you will. This is why. <laughs> This is why I always hope that they lose the characters as soon as possible, because it's more fun. To it's, it's, a, it's a definite commitment when you start the show. After the first comedian, we, <laughs> oh, will, okay. go, That's what we will return to the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. God. <laughs> sometimes I'm so happy that I never know what they're going to do every week, and then sometimes I'm like, You'd veto it right away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tony, it was borderline rage with you tonight. What do you mean? You were pretty upset whenever you, we had pizza and I was yelling at you. <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't that upset, but I mean, you know. All right, guys. Uh, everybody's here. Is that a saxophone? Or is that a sax? Yeah. Why? No, I don't well, know. You ask, no, why would you do that? Well, because asking you shall receive. Isn't there, aren't there other, aren't there other <laughs> horned instruments like that? Like, what's the? Uh, I know what the clarinet is. Isn't there like a, a alto sax and a? This would be an alto. There's also a tenor, and then there's a baritone. See, they're very good. See, now we all know. It just became a PBS show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like more. I have more knowledge now. <laughs> oh God. There you go. You're going to see a lot of that tonight. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the two songs that he knows how to play. <laughs> and I'm excited to see what happens here. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We have a bucket filled with comedians that yeah. signed up for the chance to do 60 seconds of stand-up comedy on stage tonight. And then immediately afterwards, stay up here and talk to us about anything in the world. Uh, so let's get right into it, shall we? Comedians, you know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Aw, isn't that Aww. sweet? You can barely hear that tiny little thing. Can we hear it one more time? Oh, there it is. That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Whoa, whoa. There's wow. a lot going on. That sounded like the fucking uh, zoo the other day, yeah. huh? Where'd you, get, where'd you get the audio from Cincinnati? <laughs> it's the West Hollywood gorilla. <laughs> I you can't did believe, not want to bring out that gorilla. I can't believe the authorities shot another unarmed black man, 17 years old as well. 
Can I give a shout out real quick? I just noticed he's in the crowd to one of my favorite human beings in the world. The great Rick Kozak is here. The there we go. Oh, hell the yeah. The fucking camera guy for y all of your jackass movies. Yeah. It's a bad motherfucker right yeah, there. Dangerous. He's, he's also my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's cool life. as fuck, too. It's your yeah. neighbor? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if that means he's doing bad or you're doing well. Oh. <laughs> it means we're both doing fucking awesome. Uh -huh. We live at the farmer's market, motherfucker. <laughs> Mangria. We yeah. live underneath that's in where the I sewers. <laughs> <laughs> <Mangria>. <laughs> that's where I drink delicious Mangrias at 3rd and Fairfax. You guys ready to see your first comedian of the night? Anything can happen here. I just yeah. pull a random name out of the bucket. It's Mangria. It's fucking... They want it there, though. I'll, I'll drink it. Like your sponsor. Put your hands together for <laughs> something like that. It's very bizarre. Uh, we'll probably be able to talk about it one day. <laughs> like blue ribbon. Like, <laughs> at, at every commercial, they always hold the beer like like this. So you can <laughs> the whole thing. I hate that. <laughs> I pulled a name out of the bucket. Your first. It could be fucking anybody. What we've learned on this show is it could be a comedian dying to get up. It could be a homeless person that thought they were signing up for something crazy. Anything can happen. It could be a 20-year veteran, first time in Hollywood. It could be. It could be anything. Put your hands together for Jonathan Gregory. Jonathan, Jonathan Gregory, Jonathan, Jonathan Gregory. All right. Is this Jonathan Gregory? Pussy. Is that you? Is that the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels? Who are you, sir? Welcome. Is this him? Are you? Oh wow, Jonathan Gregory, <laughs> everybody. Gregory, ladies and gentlemen. Either that or. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Yeah. Right Jonathan there. Jonathan Gregory. Jonathan. I saved a man's life today. <laughs> he was choking. I took my hands off his throat. I looked at him dead in the eye and I told him, don't make me save your life again. <laughs> I like to stand in the middle of a crowded mosh pit with a sharp knife in my hand. <laughs> People keep bumping into me until they die. How about we lighten up the mood a little bit? What do you say? There you go. 60 seconds from Jonathan Gregory. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> it's a very dangerous situation. <laughs> Jonathan, you're a scary guy. I love your style. How long have you been on stand-up? Three years! <laughs> what, if that's, what if that was his real voice? Are you talking to me? Yeah. You're Jonathan Gregory, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Didn't seem like you were quite certain there about that. <laughs> I think his name is Andrew W.Y. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Jeremiah. <laughs> Thank oh, you, solid Sensei. Reference, solid reference. Jonathan. Is that your name, Jonathan? Is it, what Jonathan's goes? my name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Jonathan, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jonathan, you got to be careful. Be don't touch Eric. Don't you touch Eric. You should have seen Eric's face please, when, when he first started talking. Did please, you guys see Eric's face? He's like this. <laughs> Is the Iron Patriot here? Jonathan, Jonathan, <laughs> stand over there. Stand over there. You're scaring me. Please, I can't have like some. All right. I mean, I thought it was funny. I didn't like it at first because I just thought it was like, okay, here we go, the big character. It's gonna be too loud. But I thought it was funny. But the thing that actually I don't think is funny and is actually scaring me is what's happened right now, <laughs> after all this, personally. John Jonathan, if I ask you some questions, will you be a guest on the podcast and talk with us for a minute? I will. All right. <laughs> How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Ten years. <laughs> sort of guessed years there at the end. I thought he was going to say days, you're, you're weeks, months, and then he went to yeah. years. Uh, all right. Ten years. Where at? Comedy clubs. Yeah. <laughs> what, lots of basements. <laughs> what city? Some of those. 
What cities are those comedy clubs in? I live in Scottsdale. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for work, Jonathan? Um, this and Boston. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Wait, right it, when I couldn't be any more afraid. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> the old bo boxing day job. You hear that one all the time. <laughs> Gonna move to LA, I'm gonna be a star, and with to pay rent, I'm gonna box. That's almost as yeah. intelligent as being a former professional tennis player. Yeah. But so, is it bum fights? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, Thank you. Bum fights, was, uh, bum fights was very lucrative. Which just reminded me, by the way, we just found out literally like 25 minutes ago some really sad news. Kimbo oh. Slice just passed away. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah, Kimbo Slice. So, uh, I don't. I, and by the way, I don't think it's a coincidence that we're meeting Jonathan Gregory right yeah. after finding this out. Nor is it. Nor is it a coincidence that we passed out pizza slices. Yeah. Today. Ah. Oh, very. What are the odds of that? Do you have any pizza left? <laughs> Do you have any pizza left? You should take the one you spit on over here. In the front row. <laughs> Wow, this is epic. Jonathan, can you just wait until... Okay. Uh, Whoa. That really doesn't... As if you were, you were... You were pretty bad at answering questions before, Jonathan, but uh, with a mouthful of pizza. So how do you, have you ever like played like flappers and done that character or any of the local clubs, or is this something that you've just tried here? I've, I've done flappers. Wow, wow. Uh, how long have you been in Los Surprise? Angeles? <laughs> flappers? flappers, that character at Flappers, man, that's that's a weird combo. Are you because he can't get to Burbank or like? What? No, I mean, <laughs> that's like that's a comedy club that told me I shouldn't curse at, you know. Yeah. So it's. I got, it, a, I got a, a clip online. At the, I'm headlining the comedy spot on Friday, and there's a clip. On the comedy the spot? Where's that at? That's in Scottsdale. Scottsdale. Oh, yeah. how far uh, do you have to drive your hearse? How long of a drive is that <laughs> to Scottsdale? like four gas stops before I get there. Yeah. Wow. That's a small room. Do you yell just as loud in that room? That's a tiny room. It seats like 40 people. It must scare the shit out of everybody. I don't, I don't use the microphone. You don't use the microphone. Got it. That was good, actually. I was ha Sometimes people I yell and they, yeah. and they still use the mic. And yeah. that's fucking you know, annoying. Yeah. Instead, if you don't use the mic, it's just a little bit annoying. Yeah. Hey, I kept it low, didn't I? I didn't eat the mic. I kept it at my waist. It's very good, yeah. John. Well, if you're going to look for something positive. <laughs> very good. I love that. I'm glad, you're, I'm glad you're getting some food in your belly. You're starting to make uh, some sense. You got uh, food in your hair. Did you take Sean's uh, comedy class at, at uh, in Scottsdale? Are you a comedy class guy, or you just do it on your own? I didn't do Sean's class. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sean is teaching a class? He's teaching a class, yeah. Oh, Jesus I Christ. Know. So how do you make money boxing? You just <laughs> box people and then take their wallet? Yes, exactly. What happens exactly? I think it's called jumping people. Like, how do you get paid? People want to work out, you know? Oh, you work mitts with people and shit. Um, there's a piece of pizza in your mane. <laughs> yeah. I tried to say that earlier. Uh. <laughs> sir, sir. Excuse By me, the way, sir. Every it just was like, you know what I mean? I, I, just get <laughs> I respect feeling that, that you told me. I had Thank a burger I, all day. And no yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There it is. Comics. By the way, every next comic, enjoy this pepperoni microphone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but he held it low, so it won't be. So it's going to smell like dick. You know what I mean? It's just. <laughs> Jonathan, how long you been doing? Uh, well, what's your uh, love life like? <laughs> nice. I'm married. Yeah. Really? Oh. Where's the ring at? It's uh, buried with her. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> That's with the vowels. I fucking love you. <laughs> I always will. I fucking love you. <laughs> I like John. I didn't like him at first. I like him. I love him. We're building. Yeah. We're building a relationship. Well, no, I, I, it, when you sometimes a big character, you think, oh shit, this person's gonna suck at comedy. But uh, if those are original jokes, which I feel they were, they were funny. The mosh pit one holding the knife was yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah, it goes along with your style. You yeah, know, definitely. you have all the likability of a young The Undertaker. <laughs> like, that's a big deal. I mean, he's done thirty-two WrestleManias or something yeah. like that. 
I'm just glad he didn't grab this fucking sword right here. Why would you yeah, point that he, out? He what the fuck are you with you? I mean, what are you doing? I mean, Zach's pulling the sword. I mean, Jesus, you already got the pizza. <laughs> Man, I'm really surprised he didn't use this gun right <laughs> here that I have. Uh, this styrofoam okay? sword. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> These guys are ready to give them their women right now. Just <laughs> take them. Don't hurt me. Jonathan, uh, so it says here. Oh, no, don't Jonathan, do don't. Oh, shit. No. Well, listen. He practically spit a loogie on that yeah, one, so that was a lot of spit. Yeah, so he should keep that one. That was a lot of spit. Jonathan, yeah. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan. What the fuck was I just? Oh, okay. Your Twitter handle's really creepy comedy. You got that? That's really? You? I can't. I can't see that at all. Why would you pick that? <laughs> well, you guys can follow me, at creepy comedy. Or you'll follow us. God, that's so memorable. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah He's Watkins pulling some Stefan Curry joke. shit. From three it, was point a, it was almost like when he said you can follow us, it's like almost like he didn't know how to talk normal for a second. Like it, all he knows how to do is be scary. So, <laughs> you have any other gigs coming up? Where else can people find you other than through their bedroom window? <laughs> <laughs> Could I come in? Oh, well, uh, you could you could you could go to my website at creepycomedy.com. I'm in Tucson at the end of this month. I'm in um, jail. Jail. <laughs> uh, two months. He would he would be a good jail entertainment. Yeah. Jonathan, did you not eat today? I mean, you are eating this free pizza. That, by the way, these guys are known for like old, weird, dirty props. So we don't even know if this pizza is from today. It's from. Today. I saw them use a shark fin last week as a rhino horn. <laughs> from three weeks. All right, forget. Creepy it. comedy just redirects to Jeff Dunham's webpage. So that's weird. <laughs> that's so weird. Is he the creepiest comic? Oh wow, that, that was just so now, wow. Who, who, <laughs> what is the creepiest? That comic? was meta. That one right there. Good for you, <laughs> Jeremiah. What if this was an elaborate scheme and he's actually one of Jeff Dunham's puppets? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you ever go to Louis Anderson's website? They, uh, they you could pay for the after hours, like four ninety nine and extra for a month. Uh, he has like webcams and stuff. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's way worse than is it just him eating? Like, what, no. How does that well, work? That's what we're watching now. That's true. Yeah. Jonathan, uh, how come you don't have the ring if you're married? Where's the wife at? She's in Tucson? Scottsdale. Where does she do for work? She's a manager. Of a what? She, she manages boxers. <laughs> I mean, he can't have a ring on with this persona. Yeah, yeah. It would just ruin She's it. She's a counselor. A, oh, okay. a manager and a counselor? This is getting You're a little... not married. This is your fucking therapist, <laughs> <Yeah>. dude. <laughs> That's a very close relationship. <laughs> She's my uh, counselor, and she manages uh, when my next appointment is. <laughs> Once a week. She works for a good company. She deals with children from displaced homes, and she helps all of them. There's kids that don't have a home to go to, no. and my wife is there for them. Great. And, w and, they come to the, and they come to your wife, and they go, the scariest thing happened. This guy came up to me today screaming. Asked me if I had any extra food in my lunchbox. Yeah, she sets up a table right outside of his shows, and people just see him and then go register with her afterwards. That's my merch table, yeah. <laughs> I love that. It seems like such a. It's quick. This guy, like, regardless of all this, he's right in the pocket right now, so Absolutely. I can appreciate that. Absolutely. I can appreciate that. Yeah, totally. Well, Jonathan, uh, I love your fucking style, man. How much material like that do you think you have in that dark tone type of thing? Like how long? How much have you built it? How, you well, have enough to get paid in Tucson. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So four and a half minutes. <laughs> how long do you say you could do? Well, I middle of a clubs and headline like C rooms. Nice. So, All right. Mm -hmm. Right time. Well, there you go, uh, Jonathan. It was very nice to meet you. You're a very cool guy. Yeah. Follow him on Twitter, at Creepy Comedy. Go to creepycomedy.com. Whoa, don't, don't, no touching, no touching. Oh, Jesus. Michael, what is your problem? <laughs>
If you want to throw up you that pizza, you just go. I shook his hand. I'm Mike's throwing us all under buses tonight. Sorry. This guy like, shakes his hand, puts his arms around me for a hug. I shouldn't have brought up the sword. That was a mistake. <laughs> Definitely yeah, not. What are you, and I'm the closest. I'm fucking this Well, yeah, that's why I felt comfortable. <laughs> I wasn't even saying anything. And I was like, he's going to kill me first. You know? Just don't look him in the eye. I didn't look him in the eye once. He didn't even touch me once. That's how you do it. <laughs> but listen, I, I don't care why he didn't have his <laughs> ring on. You can't have a ring with that persona, and he's got, like, conditioner in his hair. You know, he's... Right. He's well taken care of. He's got like a live strong bracelet on. He's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Where the turtles? I told you again? anything could happen. These names in the bucket, you never the know. It could, be, it could be the next Richard Fryer. Not... It could be the next Jonathan Gregory. Who knows? Uh, we know this guy. This guy's gotten on a few times. It's been a long time since we've seen him. One of the most powerful Asian comedians, or just comedians overall, but this guy's a goofball. Put your hands together. For Tam Fam, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> hey. Uh, <laughs> didn't even say anything. Uh, uh, you might be wondering what kind of asshole names this kid Tam Fam. Uh, well, my dad's first name is Ann, his middle name is Van, so his full name is Ann Van Fam. Uh, Fam is actually the only part that's real. The rest he actually named himself when he came to the U.S. Personally, I would have deported him for that. I mean, no wonder he gave me such a strange name, right? If you, if you screw up when you do something for yourself, you're going to screw up when you do it for somebody else. That's why you never see Rihanna teaching a self-defense class. <laughs> there are a lot of problems with the name Anne Van Fan, but the thing I've always hated the most is that even though he loves movies like Time Cop and Bloodsport, he has never even once referred to himself as Ann Van Fan the Van Dam Fan. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Fuck yeah. Not racist at Damn. all. Fan. <laughs> is that racist to play a, the, a, a, the gong? I it's respectful. So. <laughs> it's respectful, right? How is that you respect. That. How is that demeaning to the Asian race? For real. I'm curious. You I mean, know he why. He did 60 seconds on a guy named Ann Van Pham. I yeah. mean, that's pretty... Well, you set it up good because you said powerful Asian comic and he came up and said, Hi. And everybody was like, <laughs> He's not powerful at all! <laughs> all, he, all he had to do was bow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would have been Tam perfect. Tam Pham, that's very fun. What does your dad do for work? How did he get over here? You're Vietnamese, right? He's Vietnamese. Yeah. Uh, How he, old is he? You fighting the Vietnamese War? What are we talking about here? Um, Sneaky I, little bastards. <laughs> Do you speak English or just when you perform? Oh, it's like karaoke? <laughs> we only know the word. They can't speak any English, but they can sing the song. <laughs> We're all being racist! Oh, yeah. I love it! Oh, yeah. God, I feel like I need to get some cleaners. You know, yeah. I want to give him, you know, <laughs> get some donuts at the same time. Anyway. It's true. What, and what, what does Ann Van Pam do again? <laughs> uh, he's, a, he's a machinist. He's like 50-something. I'm, I'm not, I don't know. What kind of wow. machines? I uh, don't really know. Really? Oh. Wow. What a close bond you have with your dad. Uh, is he proud that you're a comedian? Yeah, he doesn't know. Really? <laughs> so you don't know anything about each other? <laughs> I mean, it's, is it your father? <laughs> Do you want to talk about this? His dad thinks he's a doctor. Hey, someone go grab Jonathan's wife so he can talk to the therapist. Did you guys not remember? Call back. Okay. Yeah. Listen, we're trying to forget him. <laughs> we're trying to put him out of our heads, and you're bringing that, that back? I thought that, was, I thought that was the best thing. We I almost said. died up here. You're bringing that back? All right, back to Van Dam Sham. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Tam Fam, now how long, you're one of the guys that's been doing this show forever. How long have you been on stand-up in L.A. now? Uh, two years. Right, oh. two years, and... Uh, how many moons is that? <laughs> <laughs> you, you talk a lot. Listen, really? Yeah, I'm just, just curious. He pulled that deep out of his racial. <laughs> I'm just curious. Um, uh, you know, I, I, can I, I, like yeah. the, I like your hipster vibe right now, you know, the skinny jeans and all that, and... Your jokes were very biting, so I think you're, you're doing all right, you know. I think you should be powerful, like he said. Take command of the stage, but other than that, you know, I think you're comfortable in your own skin, which is good. So, you know, I think you're doing all right, don't you think? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I liked him a lot. Only thing I didn't like was the Rihanna joke, but I, I love just because I feel like it's been done so much. And this is coming from a guy that just made a Jeff Dunham joke <laughs> five minutes yeah. ago. So keep that yeah, in mind. He, but yeah. the hacky uh, president over here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm not only a client. I'm I the mean, hacky <laughs> president. You, One more chance. <laughs> How much? How much material do you have on just your name? Uh, my name? Uh, I have or like the name? Sorry, oh. you know what I mean. On uh, names in general. Uh, Tam like Fam. Two, thank you. Let's just say on he a scale has a of lot, lot of fun. Lot. Yeah, that's okay. his middle name. Yeah. <laughs> on a scale of one to Tam, how many like Tam jokes <laughs> do you have? Tam, do you like green eggs? Yeah. Fire and over here, these two. Yeah. It's like a, it's a, but you're supposed to do that in Ninja Turtle, uh, fucking you know, characters. Anyway, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do it. We can't say. Can uh, we have Tam move his mouth and Pat and I do the voice for Tam? Yeah, like a ventriloquist. Yeah, let's, yeah. Do, let's do, it. do that. Tam, you face forward and uh, answer my next question. Are you ready? Well, <laughs> so, so Should wait. he throw a ninja star at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> the ninja turtle will probably catch it. <laughs> He, he should have the sword, right? Is that we, we're having a ninja off right now. Uh, turtles versus whatever the fuck Tam Fam is. <laughs> well, right. Vietnamese eat turtles. Turtles think, versus right? Squirtle over here. <laughs> anyway, let's keep this show going. You know what I'm saying, guys? Right. No, no, take it like a man. Take it like a man. <laughs> take, take it like a turtle. Take it like a turtle. <laughs> my boy! I stick with my boy! Oh, this is the part where they start defending each other. <laughs> <laughs> you want a piece of two men up here? Oh. But back to the question about your uh, name thing. I mean, how long do you think? I mean, I mean, are you going to keep doing that, or like, what do you want to yeah, talk about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm I going to keep doing it for a long time. You see, <laughs> By the way, ever I, since I, like I was a little <laughs> boy, I knew I had comedy that derived from my name. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> this is the greatest show on earth. <laughs> Now, shouldn't, shouldn't he do them now? Yeah, he should do them. He now. should do yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, now, you be a dumb white guy. Go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And you, and you guys move. Uh, it's all right. Two brains, idea, two the, heads, one brain. It's fine over there. Jer you can do Jeremiah it. and Pat, what would you say your comedy philosophies are? If I can't think of jokes, I play new, uh, instruments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now switch it back to us one more uh, time. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Tam fam, what do you think about uh, what these guys had to say about you here tonight? I don't know. We're not doing that anymore. Oh, you forgot. Okay, yeah. very good. <laughs> anyway, uh, Tam, uh, what do you do for work? How do you survive out here? I work at Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. I feel so bad for people who don't actually watch this podcast. And the camera is so far away tonight, too. But Tam Fam is doing an unbelievable job at selling this. Do you, like, lip sync like a puppet often? Is this something you... Was that the actual answer to your question? I Absolutely. <laughs> I can't even deal with this right now. I can't even host the show and deal with this. Can you guys see how good it looks? Yeah, what... So where do you enough? Where do you work? <laughs> Damn, I like, oh, oh, shit. oh no, he did! Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> well, it's the last time he's on. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm an extra. Oh wow! An oh. extra. In so you what? literally extra are what? Asian guy number three. Like <laughs> literally. What, what have you? Uh, what have we seen you on? Uh, Teletubbies or <laughs> Teletubbies? Nickelodeon, <laughs> Disney, <laughs> the Home and Garden Network. You can make. You can. <laughs> the what? Damn! What if this is wh what the podcast evolves into for everyone? All right. <laughs> Yeah, it's just Jeremiah answering for everybody. You can't do that anymore. anymore. And, 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 like, uh, it'll be a Mexican guy, a black guy. He'll just do all the things. <laughs> are you uh, are the your guy? He, he lets do stand up. Yeah. yeah. Are your nipples dark or pink? Uh. Oh, now you want to back away from so it? <laughs> as soon as it got sexual, he was like, "Nope, not gonna do it." 
I don't talk about Asian nipples. <laughs> What's the answer? Uh, People no. call me Purple <laughs> Nurple. <laughs> Are Never they purple or pink? Stop looking at them. Answer the question, Sam. I never know it's gonna, when it's going to... Uh, it's okay. Just dark, roll with it. Dark. <laughs> dark something. Sometimes I wonder why you ask the questions that you do. <laughs> and then I'm like, so always shocked that that's always the weird answer that I don't think it's going to be. I know. I, will, I, I like dark nipples, and it's not fair when guys have dark nipples, and it's I don't. never really seen an you Asian said that guys. All like, You're very attracted to him now all of a sudden. Tony, would well, you I like to see nipples. my dark nipple? <laughs> no, no, I don't. Yeah. No, Tim. Thanks for asking. But I'm okay on that. So extra work's been paying the bills? No, it just makes it a little easier to... Just, I am non-union. It is very hard to get by. <laughs> All right. Uh... Tam, you're so funny. You always do good. good. Job, Anything man. else for Tam? Fam? Uh, last time I did the show, I think he performed, and I thought he was really funny then too. So good job, man. You're really funny. Keep it up. There he goes, Tam Fam. Yeah. The great Tam Fam, everybody. My goodness. Wow, what a great start to the show, huh? It's I mean, crazy. Jonathan Gregory and then Tam Fam. <laughs> Highs and lows. This uh, this looks like definitely a new name. Uh, Highs and low names. You this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I can always tell by the handwriting. Oh, shit. Put your hands together for Ron K. Ron K? I did see John. Oh, there he is. He just heard it for the first time. Go that way, that way, that way. Did this one's gonna be good. Did he not? Run K. Use the disabled entrance. Yeah. Keep it going for Ron K, everybody. Yeah. Don't, touch us. Don't touch us. Don't touch us. I'm not, uh, I'm not prepared to, well, I never did this before. Uh, raise your hand if you're out there. I gotta see how many people are out there. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Good stuff. Wow. Um, you know, I, I'm f we're from Vegas, you know, and uh, I'm a crap dealer in Vegas. Cra craps, craps dealer. Craps and blackjack and roulette. Who play? Who gambles? Uh, you can't win. You know, you can't win. We, they, they don't. Build the tall buildings. They have so many slot machines in uh, Vegas. You go, you go in the uh, airport, 20 slot machines. You go in the 7 Eleven, 30 slot machines. I went in the bathroom the other day. I took piss and flushed the toilet, and I was playing the poker machines. I got a, ro a royal flush. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, shit. Unbelievable. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> That's a minute from Ron K. <laughs> Wow. Stay up here, Ron. Please. You say you can't believe it, but you remember, did you forget that you signed up tonight? In between the whole thing? Talking to the microphone, Ron. The okay. microphone, right? Oh, we right know now. you had a drink. Well, I <laughs> got a couple of drinks. Yeah. Ron. A couple I, drinks? <laughs> we drove all the way here from uh, Vegas. Well, who's we? Through the night. Man, Craig has signed up. Or Ichabod. 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 How old are your friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Ichabod and uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. and Slappy Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, are you the ghost of comedy past? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I'm taking this guy on the road with me. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. So, Ron, this is your first time ever doing comedy. Ever. Wow, have you ever done, yeah, keep, keep, come on people, yeah. let me tell you something Ron, you accidentally did one of my favorite opening jokes I think I've ever heard in my life, how many people are out there, I can't see the people, can you raise your hands, <laughs> got a huge fucking laugh, it's unbelievable. Oh. I, well, that well, I had planned for about a year. Or so. Oh, you wrote these yeah, about a year ago. You wrote your minute well in advance. That's about. Then he walked here from. He Vegas. wrote uh, five seconds a month for the past. Uh, oh, I get. 
it was a little NASCAR-y right now because we were waiting for the crash. But you, uh, yeah. you stuck in there. Yeah, I got to give it to you. This is hard for some people to come up here and speak in front of people and you know, Shit. You did it. It hard. was it was an incredible sixty seconds, and yeah. I'm just talking about your walk up to the stage. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You gotta be ready, uh, man. Sorry. <laughs> Ron, you really, uh, you really a, a, a dealer in uh, Vegas? That's what yeah, you do for work. Yeah, wow, you must dealer, see so much crazy shit. Dealer huh? ten years in Vegas, and I'd see a lot of shit. I see people throw down ten thousand on the craps table, lose it in like a, an hour, and they throw it down. Does that make you upset? 10, Does that make you upset yeah. when you see how much people just N give money away? N not really. No, uh, it's all about the tips in Vegas. So. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right. Well, with gotta, this figure, I'm sure you're getting a lot of tips, baby. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I just know that Ron's house, he's <laughs> in the bathroom, he's got one of those combs that's in like the blue liquid. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he totally. You know what I mean? He does, right? Yeah. yeah that's like, a, by the way, I like those. That's, that's a sweet like, comb over. Yeah, I like it a lot. A old, uh, <laughs> barbicide. Thank you for saying that because I went in your bathroom here. It said employees must wash hands. Yeah. You forgot, forgot the rest forgot of the that. Bunch of <laughs> I waited. Wait. No, this was good. We were all waiting well, for you on that one. Boys must wash hands. <laughs> you, you didn't I, get the punchline, but you I, nailed that fucking setup. Yeah. <laughs> Saw the sign. Yeah. Employees <laughs> must wash hands. But it was so strong. <laughs> <laughs> that setup was so strong. We were all like, <laughs> Okay, employees. <laughs> son, it said employees. <laughs> 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 This motherfucker got every step. Some comedians said, are good at punchlines. Some comedians are good at setups. And Ron said, K is the original didn't setup get to the comedian. Punchline. Yeah, he, he, he wa wait, wait, let him get to it. Go, Ron. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Wait, start again, though. You went yeah. into the. I went in the bathroom here. I can't believe it. Uh, <laughs> oh, we could believe it. The sign, the, the sign said, "Employees must." I took a piss. The sign said, "Employees must wash hands." I waited in there one hour for an employee to come in and wash my hands. It was worth it. There you it. go. It was worth ah, it. Ah, It was yeah. worth it. It was worth but you it. Have to say, but you have to say after that, but seriously, folks. You have to yeah. say that after that. Seriously, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> wow. I can't believe it. I can't believe you have blue eyes. I saw you a couple weeks ago. Oh, oh wow. Oh, no. Thank you. Podcasts every week. Just when oh, you think awesome. it wouldn't get any oh. scarier than Jonathan Gregory. Uh, <laughs> guy's telling me he Check loves my out. blue eyes. It's true. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. Okay there. Uh, oh, Okie dokie, Ron. <laughs> Ron uh, the old bear in the twink. Ron, where are you going? Where are you going, Ron? Right this, right is like, this is like right the right grandpa right. that runs out of the nursing home. Over here, Ron. Over here. Ron, you're still on the show. Don't walk away with the microphone. We need that. Uh, Ron, uh, are you married? Twice, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, two kids, uh, illegitimate. And, uh, one, cle <laughs> one clearly, uh... <laughs> and there they are, right here, Jeremiah! <laughs> Hi, Dad. Whoa. That explains Hi, Dad. everything. <laughs> are you guys like... That's great. Two kids, Ron, and the best part is that clearly you have a third on the way. Uh, <laughs> that you're baking... <laughs> that you're baking no, yourself no, here. That is, wow. That is, I actually had an operation. I had a. Oh, I could show this. Well, person. you definitely have. The, you definitely. It's amazing that you had the guts to come out here show tonight. Show us that scar. <laughs> there it is. That scar. You I, show I, us that I, scar. I, show us that scar. <laughs> show us that scar. No, don't, don't, don't. Show us that scar. Show us that scar. All right, do it. Fuck it. Show the fucking oh. scar. Not show. show or not show. Yeah, show it. Show it. Show it. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? One out of a hundred people. So one for the podcast one. listeners, he just whipped out his dick <laughs> for the audience. <laughs> 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 No, this is I was like in the hospital three months in a coma. Ron, settle down. There's a whole Sorry. show going on over here. He's giving you, his monologue. You know that scene in Aliens right before it busts yeah. out? <laughs> 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 it's like right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, Ron, god. We love you, Ron. You're doing a Ron, good job. Ron, tell us like a hobby or something of yours. What do you do for fun out there in yeah. Vegas when Mostly you're not working? Play horses and play horses. Play, well, not play with horses. Play the horses. <laughs> All right. you know, of uh, course. Play, Red band's always I, there. Three gamble. seconds. Do you have a gambling problem, would <laughs> you say? Horses, but not I I don't gamble on crap. You play a lot of racquetball, crap don't you, Ron? You can't win. <laughs> you play I a lot of racquetball, that. don't you? Handball? Handball. No, okay. racquetball. Racquetball. And well, you convinced me. 
<laughs> uh, wait, can I think of a golf joke? I play uh, a what? A, a golf game. joke? No, he said, "Can I think of a golf joke?" Think a bad, you're being a naughty golf. tonight. You settle down, sir. Stop being a bad influence. You know, obvi obviously, Ron K is easily, you know. What wait, the I. Sh Shoot in the low 70s and golf. I really do. You shoot in the low 70s, yeah, huh? Four, that's crazy for a guy in the high 80s. No, that's. Uh, <laughs> Ron, how old are you? you gotta hit that. Boom, pow! <laughs> Give now me some symbols. The, Ron, <laughs> Ron, the keep, the, fo keep the focus, Ron. How old are you? 65. 65. Oh my God. Fuck yeah, you don't oh, look a day beautiful. over 92. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. Looking good. You look great. Ron. <laughs> you're, a, you're a testament to being a dealer and how it doesn't affect you physically yeah. or emotionally. <laughs> Everyone says Vegas dealers have great health. <laughs> it looks like it's been a really long time since you've taken a craps. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Again, for you oh, podcast wait. listeners, you're missing a really big pot belly if you haven't caught on to it. Know. Is your cell phone going off? I can relate. <laughs> Tony, it's the operation. I, don't, I, can I believe you. It's yeah, it's the operation. Yeah. It's a hernia. So. Oh, that's uh, a hernia? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, that's, that's, that's more like a hemnia. It's a big one. Yeah, he was trying to... <laughs> Do you have health care? Does the, does the casino... Oh, yeah, it's amazing. The bill for the hospital, it's three amazing. months in the hospital in a coma. The bill was $1.8 million. When you turn 65, get Medicare, but get a supplement. My, my share the Kill Tony fan base, well known for being very near 65. So, uh, my share of the one you know. Bernie Sanders, ladies and gentlemen. Three dollars. He still has a chance. He's not out of the race. This has been the Has hashtag Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Come on. You got to be hot Ron, on the tail you, of it. Uh, Ron, do you ever uh, jerk off to porn on the internet? You, have you figured out that internet thing yet? You have the internet where you live? Jerk off do on you the, have the internet? internet? Do you have <laughs> what? No. I've been no. Ron, by Ron, baby. You got the question messed up, Ron. I didn't ask you if no. you've jerked off on the internet. Yeah, like, <laughs> like he has a web show. <laughs> no, no, like he thinks that the internet is like an actual solid thing. That he's once jerked off. No, he's off got his own show off. where he jerks oh. off. <laughs> no, Hi, I'm Ron. <laughs> I I'm gonna think, jerk oh, off on my hernia. But you, you uh, brought, do you have the internet where you live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I just got a cordless phone. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, we doing that again? <laughs> when he jerks off, you just like sling your balls over your shoulder <laughs> and then just start jacking it. <laughs> Ron, Ron, over here, buddy. Uh, so with this internet that you have at home, have you ever? Do you go on? Do you ever look at porn on the internet? Sometimes. No, <laughs> you never no, do. No. no. You still look at the magazines? No, every time I try to do that, it, like, blocks it. it What's just, your favorite kind of woman? Like, what? It just goes down and it, you know, it just says... So, so how, it, what do you, uh, what do you, when you, uh, when you, now that you're single, when you mm -hmm. fantasize about something, how do you do it? With a magazine, a book? Do you uh, draw it? Every Sunday morning. <laughs> my telephone. You do it with the telephone. Oh, he's got yeah, porno like, on the telephone. You, telephone. Have, you have phone sex. Yes. Okay, well, can we do something fun? Can we, uh, can we, <laughs> you just close your eyes, pretend like you're on the phone, and we're going to call into a phone sex thing, and uh, how would you start, how would, okay, go ahead. <laughs> That's not the right music for that, Brian. <laughs> All right, so you just called in. Here goes the ringtone. Beep. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, stud. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Give me a look at me. <laughs> 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 so what would you say to that if you were having phone sex right now? He, Wait a second. This is an old joke. I, I had great sex last night. Just last oh. night. Who's old jokes are these? Sex. Problem was I was all alone. It was terrible. Oh terrible terrible. my God, Ron! That's I can't imagine why he would be confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, if, I'm alone now. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. I'm, if but if, my memories of all. Well, you were great and grumpy old men. So. <laughs> yeah. If Ron had a favorite porn category, it'd be like World like War II. Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> Tommy. Ron, where's your life alert badge? I've fallen and I can't get up. Do I know I'm in the Kill Tony like stage. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. No, Walter Matthau, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can see Walter Matthau. Is he alive? I hope. Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No, he is. You, Everything's yeah. cool, Ron. He's totally alive. <laughs> uh, um, tell us something like in your 
you know, 65 years or whatever, tell us something cool about yourself that you've accomplished or something like that. I was a dog trainer. I was, uh, we had two or 300 dogs when I was kids. We raised, my parents raised and bred dogs. We lived on a farm in New Jersey. No, wow. something, something interesting, Ron. <laughs> 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 I mean, who the fuck saw that coming, huh? <laughs> I think we finally found the answer to the age-old question: Who let the dogs? <laughs> who out? let the dogs out? Two, Ron, two, Ron, 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 Ron. If I want to get a dog, if I want to get a dog, what is Irish Setter? If anybody, why, Irish why Irish Setter? setter? You didn't know what I was gonna say. If I want to get a dog and I want to fuck it to death. <laughs> Great question. No, why, why Irish Setters? Why, why are you, they, you think they're the best breed? Irish Setter would be the best breed because they're well temperament with kids. They're, they're, uh, <laughs> He's not bringing kids. Yo, Ron. He just said you had a kid, dick, Costa. Yeah, I guess, I, I guess I have to have children now. Yeah, and they're very well tempered with kids. They're very. Uh, Wait, what makes you think I have a bunch of kids? Just, or am I a kid to you? No, if you have kids, I then you have an Irish setter. What if they you will live? Never bite. They're very smart. Extremely smart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been feeling girl. Oh, sorry. That, I, I got it. I That's got it. good to know. Irish setter, everybody. Yeah. Irish setter. Ron, what's good the best know. possible name? I like a, for a, a spinner. Dog? What's the best? Uh, what's the best dog uh, well, name? Well, our dog. We named our first dog Morty. Morty. And Did Morty. you do your taxes also? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We, had a, we, had a, we have a Jewish dog, you know. <laughs> Big story. Oh, Lord, come over here. Maureen. Hey, Ma Maureen. Maureen. Oh, Maureen. And okay. Mike Clancy. Mike? Clancy. You named a dog Mike? And Yes, our first, second dog was named Mike, so we called our kennel. What do you think the kennel was called? First dog, Maury. Second dog, Mike. Eminem. Maury Mike Kennel. Maury uh, Mike Kennel. Wow, it was even uh, fucking more diabolical than I ever could have predicted. You know, you know, my dad bought a dog and it was half cockapoo and half peekapoo, oh, and he used to that. call it a cockapika poo poo. <laughs> wow, uh, you, 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 the night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From you and Fantan, I love that you man over here. <laughs> hey, that joke was just for him. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst worst breed just being, of a dog? For, we're we're just being bullies now. Chihuahua. <laughs> Chihuahua. Uh, fucking Chihuahua. Why? They'll, they'll nip and bite and bark and they're just not. And uh, those lousy I, Mexicans I are attached to them. Little, yeah. It sounds, like, it sounds like Ron wants to build a wall uh, against these Chihuahuas and have them build it themselves. There you go. Do you hate Mexicans? What's your least favorite I race, Ron? I least favorite Mexicans. race. Answer the question, Ron, before I have to repeat it again. Least favorite race. Go ahead. Human race. Le least favorite favorite race would be... Oh, the answer. God, Please just say the Boston um, Marathon at this point. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I don't want an answer, Ron. I don't want an answer. Um, uh, the least favorite race <laughs> oh, shit. would be... Don't answer. <laughs> don't answer, Ron. Don't answer. Don't answer. I got, I the drum, the drum. Anybody Polish? I love Polish. <laughs> Polish. Oh, yeah. Oh, love the Polish. He really Polish, loves them. But they do he, loved, he loves them like, in the way that Hitler did. You know what I mean? Like... He wants to gather them all on well, trains. Nobody's Polish, well, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, well how many lost, take to take a light bulb out? They lost the say? formula. They don't have ice. You know why? Right. right. They lost the formula. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, Ron, the king of the setups, Ron K. It was Ron so nice K, to meet you. you buddy. Anything thank else you. for Ron? Congratulations on both your first and your last stand-up appearance of all time. Sorry about your. There he goes, Shit. Louis B. C. Everybody, <laughs> Louis B. C. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> good, good luck with your health care, man. Fuck yeah! There he goes. There one, he goes. One Ger geriatric Seinfeld. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Dude. Oh, he's what picking a high fives and everything. <laughs> this is like in Caddyshack when the priest goes golfing. You know he's going to die at the end of this, right? This Fuck is yeah. like the greatest day of his night of his life. <laughs> no one in this man. room saw Caddyshack. That's all. <laughs> That's Just Ron so you K know. <laughs> dope, dude. Ron K, you're a good dude. There man. he goes. Yeah, you know, you Going can sit down. down. You don't have to. He's the only guy to be both on, on the Kill Tony list and Schindler's list. Uh, I don't know. Something it's like that. He's a good that. dude, man. Well played, sir. Well yeah. played. Red Band led me in with the music. What an interesting you know. 
group of guests. We've had three comics have all been. <laughs> it's what I love about the show. Is that absolutely anything can happen. This bucket is crazy. You guys ready to meet your next fucking comedian? Yeah. Or what? yeah. All right. Here we go. It looks like another new name. Good handwriting. Julian Fernandez. <laughs> I want to get something out of the way. I'm not Native American. I'm not Hawaiian. I will realize I have very small eyes. It's just because it's very bright. I'm really high. That's all that is. Uh, I'll let you guys know I'm 100% Mexican, 100%. I know I don't really come off it. Uh, I'm really light-skinned, which was a big issue when I was a kid. I remember my brother and my sister used to try to convince me I was white and adopted. Funny now, but it worked. I believe them 100%. And I remember running to my mom in tears, just crying, just, Mom, am I adopted? I'll never forget this. Mom looked at me in the eye. She started tearing up herself. She said, Julian, believe me when I tell you, I would never adopt you. <laughs> Fucked up, but I believe her. Uh, <laughs> Another big thing. Uh, I'm kind of a weird Mexican. I hate tamales, which is a big sin if you're Mexican. It's kind of fucked up, yeah. It's like hearing an Asian person hates rice, or a black person hates chicken, or a white person hates privilege. It sounds weird. My name is Julian. Thank you very much. Fuck yeah. Julian Fernandez. Yeah. How's it going, buddy? Going good. Yourself? You've been on this show before, yes, right? Yes, I have. Once before? Yeah, with uh, Jamara Neighbors and uh, Mike Lawrence. How did it go uh, that time? It was fun. I did some impressions for you guys. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yep. Was, remember, we all remember that clearly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, like yesterday. Well, I, I just want to say, uh, after all the nonsense that we just went through, <laughs> I mean, for you to come up and just, like, get the crowd to be like, oh, oh, he's going to actually tell jokes <laughs> and listen to you, that's a testament to yeah, uh, what true. you're doing. So yeah, it's good very job. hard you to know? do. Thank you, guys. You know? It's hard to do that. It's very, very hard to follow Ron K. Yeah. Uh, By the especially way, especially uh, while he's, he's trying to drive to a destination. <laughs> yes. Right. Sorry. Sorry. No, I cut you off. And it, uh, I was just going to say. By the way, Ron K. Sound asleep right now. Yeah. Exhausted. <laughs> Out like a light. <laughs> Still waiting for one of those employees to wash his hands. <laughs> Julian, how long have you been doing stand up? You turned into the 1940s all of a sudden? Yeah. Ah, yeah. see, we gotta wash your hands. I've been a big fan of Ron K ever since he first really started. Oh, can we order two tennis balls for Ron, wait staff? Uh, why, would he, why would he need two tennis balls? Put it on the bottom of his walker. Oh. Oh. Yeah. On ice. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a walker, though. Now back to the Mexican. Let's. Uh... <laughs> Which he was just about to say the race he didn't like. But anyway. <laughs> wow. Do you like doing racial humor? Uh, I don't do it a lot, but... Do uh, you think you have but, to? No, but when it comes to just talking about myself, I think, I think it's... You go with that first? Yeah. Because it's usually people's first guesses. But you got a white game. guy radio voice. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah? I'm aware. Sure do. Yeah. So what does, yeah. a what does a cop do when they pull you over? They're just like, what the fuck are you, dude? Just tell me the <laughs> truth, bro. Because yep. you, you, the most Latino thing about you is the haircut. That yeah. slick back. Yeah, I mean, much. and even that's not even really. It's the, well, he's got the <laughs> he's got the wet top to go with the. Uh, I would think wet. he was Samoan with that haircut. <laughs> what? You the wet top? Should I check his back? <laughs> Who do you? <laughs> Look what you've done to me! <laughs> <laughs> you ever blow a cop to get out of a speeding ticket? Never oh what? God. Nothing. What this, this <laughs> Don't bring your personal shit into yeah, this. Exactly. Julian, what do you do for work? How do you make money? Uh, I work at Universal Studios. I'm a tour guide. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. that See? voice. That's yeah, you voice. got a very... To your left, we have Jaws. To yeah. your right. Yeah. What, what part? You know, do you do the same part of the tour or the whole thing? Is it just like... How does that work? Are you on the tram? Like, yeah, on the front tram. Of, do you make it oh, funny? Wow. Do you make it funny? I try yeah. my best, yeah. Can yeah. you give us an example of one of the jokes that you do on the Come tram? On. Give, yeah, us give, us yeah, give us your winner. What's your... Yeah. yeah. I know uh, you I'm got one. You can't I'm wait. on the tram. You're like, here it comes. We're here it tram. comes. We're on the tram. We're on the tram right now. We're on the tram. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, if you don't do one quick, we're going to have Tam Fam come up here and... Uh, <laughs> or Jeremiah's going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite. 
we call the Jaws, the mechanical shark for Jaws, his name is actually Bruce. He's named after Steven Spielberg's lawyer. There you go. That's oh, the that was it! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ooh. That's, that's all that's you get, you <laughs> non-paying pieces of garbage. <laughs> that's usually the reaction it gets yeah, to, you, but I think it's funny. I don't... Is that your closer? Is that no. <laughs> uh, you have such a white guy radio voice, don't yeah, you? Yeah. That's I mean, what I'm saying. You should, be getting yeah. the you should be talking about that up front. Yeah. Valeria, I would love to attend your quinceanera. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. Who, who is Jeremiah? Yeah. You've created a monster. This is your no. fault. <laughs> Jeremiah yeah. is a fucking monster yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> He's gotten a little better at getting roasty, and I've gotten a little better at being goofy since uh, we've all joined. And Red Band's got better at turning up the volume. <laughs> 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 yeah, we've given Red Band more buttons to press. <laughs> Every little comment has got a button. You know, and I love that it's like a McDonald's cash register, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> 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 Is that is that an app that's like ninety nine cents or what? Is that like a legit? No, it's totally free. It's free. <laughs> is that free? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's so All funny. Right. That last sound surprisingly was called boing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Julian, tell us something interesting about yourself, other than uh, stand up comedy and stuff like that. I stand up comedy. Um, I got you really do have like shockingly tiny, tiny eyes. eyes. Yeah. I, know, I mean, yeah. really. Yeah. No are you matter. high? Are you high right now? No. Can no. you try your best to open them as wide as you can? Oh my god! Wow. Wow. Yeah, open wow. your eyes. You have beautiful open eyes. Open your eyes. You just have a massive forehead, is what it is. <laughs> Let's have Ron K decide how pretty your eyes actually are. Uh, no, <laughs> he only likes young white boys. <laughs> wow, Tony, your eyes are much bluer than I thought they'd be. God, I have a lot of fodder for my nightmares tonight. <laughs> and I love how he moseyed over to you. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck him tonight. <laughs> Here I am, Rio. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get we need to get Eric Griffin to a karaoke bar. Yeah, I love karaoke. Stuff. You got some that'd be awesome. Up, uh, so uh, do you get a lot? Of, you get a lot of stage time around town, or what? Uh, I try to do as much as I can. Yeah, but, uh, be more specific. Uh, I try to get up every day, uh, at least in mics, and then uh, I try to at least try to book a show at least a week. Is the open mic scene uh, pretty uh, good here in LA right now? Well, I don't live out here in LA. I live out in uh, Inland Empire. Oh. In Inland Empire's got a great How's the open mic scene out there? How's, how's, the, how's the open eyes scene out there? <laughs> oh, you wouldn't know. How's the open mic scene in the Inland Empire? Yeah. There's, there's a few here and there, but there's not, nothing really going on. I try my best to get out here more often. Listen to your voice. All right. You ever yeah. do a podcast or anything like yeah. that? Well, what's, what's your podcast well, I've, I've about? Been, I've been on guests on podcasts. Oh. Uh -huh. is, it, it's called, is it called Tram Talk? <laughs> Welcome to Smooth Tram Radio. <laughs> oh, here in. Yeah. Welcome to. Just complaining to about everybody that comes on the tram. That'd be great. Welcome These to. Fuckers on the tram. Uh, I don't think pals. you can call them trams anymore. Yeah, Eric. Trammies. <laughs> Do you get tips? I don't want those trammies in my bathroom. <laughs> Do they tip you? Yeah. Do you get tips? Uh, no. Like, really? What? No. Yeah. No. Can, can you ask for tips? No. They're probably not allowed to get tips. Yeah, but maybe... Do people ever see you and pull out smelling salts and try to wake you up? Because you're... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you. I always carry a couple smelling salts with me. Yeah. Well, because you're rapey. <laughs> you right before you leave her house, you go... When you run out of there. <laughs> like, when you laugh, they go, like, all the way shut. Yeah, they, you you they can't disappear. see shit when you laugh, huh? <laughs> like right now, I can see. I can see pretty well. Like it looks like I can't see anything, but oh. I see everything pretty very. Yeah, that probably sucks yeah. at the DMV. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you see that baseball? That's going to run it up. No. How old are you, Julian? Uh, twenty-four. All right. All right. You are one of the funniest young sumo wrestlers we've ever had on the show. <laughs> what do your parents do for work? Uh, my dad uh, drives for UPS. My mom, uh, she works at a law firm. Uh, oh God! You're like the Mexican Cosby's over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> UPS. Andy's Mexican, so yeah. what can Brown do for you? You know what I mean? <laughs> Multiple ways. Give it to me! Thank you! <laughs> Double Brown. You're going, yeah. Brown Town! Um, <laughs> Julian, uh, I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked Ron K. Craziest thing you've ever jerked off to on the internet? 
craziest thing I've ever jerked off to? Yeah. Well, that, I tried to ask Ron that. We ended up finding out that he just has phone sex still. <laughs> Ron well, we said he things. checks the porn on his phone. I use the telephone. Or, you, or you, he doesn't, like, fuck himself with the phone. You know what I mean? I put, I put, that'd be a great app. The yellow pages is the internet. That's what he thinks it is. I like, to, I like to put it on vibrate and sit it on the bench and it's in my bathtub. <laughs> I should have said shower, and I fucked that one up. Shower would have gotten 30% more of a laugh, strangely enough. Good point. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's a different picture. You know, yeah. bathtub, it's like, why would there be a bench? And yeah. shower, it's an old man thing. Anyway. <laughs> Ron, how many times, just yell it from your seat, how many times in the middle of the night do you average get up to go pee? Three. Very good. Three. Very good. <laughs> By the way, he gave it number two. I've been feeling <laughs> He held up three. <laughs> put, up, put up the number two, said the number three, uh, and no, probably took a number one uh, all at the same time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whew. Julian. All right, man. Well, oh, great stuff. Great, fun yeah. times. Anything else for Julian, guys? No, man. You're doing good. Good, good Keep job. It up. You're funny, man. Very Keep fun. There he goes. Julian Fernandez, everybody. He's on Twitter. He's the first person other than Tam Fam Comedy and Creepy Comedy on Twitter. He's JJF Comedy. Everybody has comedy in their Twitter handle, just to remind you. God, it was weird to talk to somebody who I felt like their brain functioned normally. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It was like, yeah. I don't know. We were like, what's weird about this guy? <laughs> yeah. We'll find something. You, d you know it's weird when you see a guy that can't open his eyes and you're like, finally a normal one. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I like. I, you know what I love about this is that the handwriting is very. It really tells a lot. It, it does. It, it really does. does. This is, by the way, you are at episode 160 of this wow. live show. Right now. Yeah. So you know, I've been in. The, you know, it's sort of like a crazy control booth, and you're totally right. The handwriting tells a lot. Like this one, sort of. I don't know. Either we're gonna see. This looks like a new name, though. Anything can happen, guys. Put your hands together for Jamie Alexis. <laughs> Jamie Skurd. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> put your hands together for. <laughs> put your hands together for Anthony Dasamito. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Red Band. <laughs> um, so I, I read somewhere that talking to yourself is a sign of genius, uh, which means I highly underestimated everybody at my bus stop. <laughs> Just a bunch of philosophers in front of that safe way. Um, <laughs> so uh, I think that ambulances are the drag queens of the road uh, because you can hear them coming down the street uh, and everybody gets out of their way. And there's usually somebody dead inside. <laughs> Um, it's weird uh, because for a gay guy, I'm like morbidly obese, but for a lesbian, I'm right on point. <laughs> wow, holy shit, yeah. holy shit. This is one of those moments, that's what, that's what makes this show fun. You're a killer, man. Anthony yeah. Decimito, everybody, am I saying that right? Yes. Wow. And I thought that was like I said, that would say with the last guy, but you even did it even more so. You just came up and owned us yeah. all. Yeah. That was Aww. fucking great. You made me laugh, genuinely laugh. Uh, Eric doesn't it. laugh. I don't Killer laugh. He jokes. doesn't laugh. <laughs> no. What, what's your story? Yeah. You've been on this seven years. You're from Portland, Oregon. <laughs> uh, I've been doing it for five years, and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I was, that was yeah. going to be my yeah. first fucking guess. Really? But I didn't guess it because the other guy was from fucking Arizona. <laughs> I came here with Jonathan. Did you? For real? Uh, really? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh! I didn't realize he had a I didn't realize he had a sidecar on his motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck it. He has a sidecar on his motorcycle, but Anthony still rode on the back. 
It's an empty sidecar. Well, it's always closed. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go too fast. Closing snacks. You know what I mean? Anthony, I love your style. You're owning it. And by the way, oh, I'm sorry. Thank no, you. I mean, go ahead. I was just going to say, like, um, I was wondering if you were going to say that you were gay or not, you know, in, yeah. the, in the 60 seconds, uh, <laughs> you know, because we were all like, is he gay? You know? Welcome to another episode of Gay in 60 Seconds. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one of the yeah. Ni Nicholas Cage, ironically, is Always in that one, the indicator. Um, do they immediately start dancing to that song? <laughs> it's yeah. the final test. I don't know if you guys saw him just start to fucking do the yeah, robot. Put Madonna on on and I can't done. even help it. So, is that something you like go right? I mean, do you, yeah. when, when you do a longer set, or do you like... Do you like to talk about that right away? Is that something that you, you want to address because it's oh. like an elephant in the room? Yeah. No I, offense. I address it right away. <laughs> like, yes. What was that? The Thank big, you over there. <laughs> the big gay elephant in the room. Uh, yeah, I address it right away. I usually start off by uh, saying homo estas. Oh, ah, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> Love it. Well, you own it. It's like, yeah, that, I'm just that's, curious. That's not actual real Spanish. <laughs> Thank you. No, Jeremiah's man, he didn't use that in high school. <laughs> he wanted to be this one. <laughs> so so many stuff. How old what you, how, yeah. Oh, sorry. How Go old ahead. is that uh, uh, ambulance joke? Uh, this is the second time I do it. So, is that the second time you've ever told that joke? Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. That's that, that, is a, that is a killer <laughs> joke. Thank you. Uh, yeah. One thing I really liked about your comedy was how in the first joke you told, the uh, talking to yourself, I thought it was really good how you tagged it up after with the Safeway. Uh, I think a lot of people, including myself, I'm getting real for a second. Uh, That's why we're here. We always forget to tag, <laughs> tag up a great joke. Like yeah. if it's funny and it got laughs, you can get even more laughs by adding something on the end of it. And you did a great job of that. How yeah, long that have you been doing it? That's proper tip. Uh, five years. <laughs> five years, five years. All right. Yeah, you're almost, you get, you're comfortable with yourself now and you're like, you know, what subjects do you want to talk about? Like. Um, I've been talking a lot. Oh, I grew up in Mexico, so I've been trying to talk about that Sorry recently. That. I know it's <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> well, next person. It's funny that the two like, Mexican guys don't talk Mexican at all, whatever that means. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do have Chihuahuas, though. <laughs> what uh, What do you do for work, Anthony? Um, I am a freelance video editor, but. Uh, We'll one of we got a, we got a big video editor crew yeah. over here, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, any avid yeah, users in the house? Any Final Cut Pro heads? What's going on, dudes? What's up? Any premiere people? Is it, is it mostly like solo scenes or like in the back of a car or? <laughs> Freelance uh, video editor. Sidecar of a motorcycle. Sidecar of a motorcycle. That's how you make your money? No, no. Uh, yes. Yes, that, but uh, no, I've never been on a motorcycle. Actually, do you, uh, the do you, question was, uh, how do you make your money? Uh, <laughs> there's so much going on. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. He uh, was tagging the joke, man. Like he was listening yeah, to right. him. Um, so how do you I, make your money? I ran out kind of unemployed. I just moved to LA like three days ago. Oh, cool. wow. Well, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. He moved. He, <laughs> he moved to LA three days ago. He <laughs> he wrote a joke about being dead inside two days ago. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to LA. <laughs> yeah. My soul is dead. You're in the right Fuck place. Yeah. Fuck yeah, Anthony. So uh, is it that seems like sangria, like man sangria for man is. Yeah, it's just like twice the alcohol. Yeah. It's super strong. It's probably a little different than the mangria that you down every <laughs> night. Uh, yeah. It's not a bottle of cum. Yeah. Even though it <laughs> probably is about that thick and fucking uh, long. This is not a bottle of. This yeah, is a not bottle a bottle of Jonathan Gregory's semen. <laughs> it's just blood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll count your tits. <laughs> I'll count your tits jiggling as you dancing on that oh, one, Anthony. Thank you. Uh, huh. Wow, that's fun. Is it? Was it? Are you excited to be uh, gay in LA rather than Phoenix? Because Hell it yeah. seems like it'd be a hard place. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? There it, seems like there's a lot of haters there. I mean. Are you Latino as well, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you I'm already got Latino a lot going against gay. you in Arizona. Yeah. So they hate your guts. Yeah, Arizona. So, yeah, you're a dime a peso. Gay there, it was just like I could get shot just like going to McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. They want right. to build a wall around you, around the wall for Mexicans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a double wall. I'll break through it like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Well, fuck yeah. Well, we know exactly what kind of guy he likes. <laughs> fuck yeah. So it's Absolutely. safe to say you would fuck the shit out of Jeremiah, huh? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you guys just had a... Uh, that, was, that was deep eye contact when I said, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You guys just had butt sacks. <laughs> oh. Uh, Give it to me! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tony Hickson on fire! <laughs> Do you have a big chimichanga? Uh, no. You can't follow up butt sacks no. with that. That's, yeah, that goes exactly with that, actually. <laughs> so, Anthony, you just moved to L.A. What part of town are you living in? Uh, I'm living uh, here in Sunset and Las Palmas. I yeah, love sounds like that's oh, wow. true. So. <laughs> living here. I'm 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 where are you I'm living like is living a pretty straightforward a, I'm answer. I'm like living in the living room. So. Oh, you couch surfing? Couch surfing. All right, yeah. all right. So I'm living that's his name. Did, has did, a room did you find that on Craigslist? <laughs> <laughs> no, his name is Couch. My friend Kirsten. Oh. Kirsten, okay. Kirsten. Letting yep. me and Jonathan crash with her. Oh, Where's oh, Jonathan? Jesus. Jonathan? Man, you and Jonathan are an interesting duo. <laughs> yeah. Some real, like, fucking Rocky Bullwinkle like shit going on. I'm, like, sleeping right next to him. Yeah. And it's really creepy. Good night, Jonathan. Good <laughs> Wait, that Jonathan? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my it's God. Dark. I did not sleep oh at all. God. That's like a great detective <laughs> show on Fox. <laughs> that is a funny TV show, dude. Yeah. That is a funny Fat. fucking TV show. Costa, you got and creeps. <laughs> I think we might have. Uh, I think we might have an idea now where Jonathan Gregory's wedding ring got lost at. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I poop it out later. The horse? Fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anthony. Yeah. I actually had a feeling you were gonna say that. Uh, Red Pan's just pressing the buttons now. Yeah. He has <laughs> yeah. He just finding animals. <laughs> Sometimes it's just too easy. What is sonar? What is sonar? It's like if there was like something in the room, like a sonar. That's how you find the ring. That's the ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Anthony trolling for dick. <laughs> that's my the bonar. Gator going on. <laughs> bonar. Yeah. It's going here. Anthony, have you have you met up with any? <laughs> Have you, have you hooked up with anybody since being in Los Angeles? Uh, no, I haven't. Wow. I haven't had time, except for Jonathan Gregory. Oh, I see what you did there. That doesn't count. If you say that too loud, he's probably going to hear you and just start yelling from whatever part of the <laughs> city he's, he's in right he's now. Sh he's there. sharpening his machete in the back <laughs> right now. <brother. laughs> you, you guys, please save me. <laughs> this is his opportunity Give to Give me for a help. place to live. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You just need to start dating a guy real quick, you know, and just crash on his dick. Yeah. <laughs> you can always yeah. sleep inside of Ron K's stomach if you want. Yeah, that's true. Uh, when there. Luke Skywalker's not sleeping in it, uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, dude. You so, made me laugh, oh, man. Yeah. Anthony... You guys let that Star Wars joke just slip right by you? Yeah, you know what I should have said is fucking... Uh, again, it's Leonardo Leo and the Revenant. The Revenant. That's, uh, Leo yeah. slept in Ron K's belly in the Revenant. <laughs> so much better it is, even when they knew it was fucking coming. Yeah, and everyone knows Leo's gay, so that would make more sense. Is that true? Uh, he's bisexual. Whoa, oh, I did not really? know that. Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. Yeah. <laughs> so you know <laughs> someone directly that has... I think he's open about it. Do you no, want, he's do not. You want, do you want to put him in his <laughs> <laughs> DiCaprio? Am I wrong? Was I misinformed? Son of a bitch. Trust me. In his Red Band's just really pleading a case over here while the rest of us are trying to make Sorry. jokes. He is not gay. Don't do this to me. <laughs> that's that's the only time all night Red Band hasn't played a sound effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, oy, 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 oy. <laughs> <laughs> not my DiCaprio. Don't you even tell me Leo's gay. <laughs> Anthony, tell us, uh, do your parents know uh, everything about how, when did you come out to them? When did you come out of the... Uh, uh, 16 years old, I came out a long time when ago. When you're Mexican, do they call it coming out of the shed? Or <laughs> is it still a closet? Yes. <laughs> well, at, at 16, they know something's up because most Mexicans are pregnant by 14, so... <laughs> 
No, if I was a Mexican girl, I would have like five babies by now. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you can't get a butt pregnant. Yeah. Why you sound excited about it? <laughs> you are funny. Why do you? <laughs> Really great stuff, Anthony. You're a natural. Yeah, yeah. Incredible stuff. Very funny, good sport. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah, there you. he goes. Anthony Decimito, everybody. He's on Twitter at Anthony Decimito. Funny guy. You gotta spell that. It's like it's like Bill Burrito. <laughs> Louis C. Quesadilla? Anybody? Guys, Hello, go. Jimmy Chunga. I'm a fucking machine. Anthony Decimito is on Twitter at Anthony Decimito, all one word, D-E-S-A-M-I-T-O. All right. <sighs> Where can we go? I'm tired. How can we? Why don't we, why don't we put the regulars I'm mentally up and then we'll exhausted. go back to the bucket for one last bonus one uh, at the end so that not everybody leaves. Um, put your hands together for your first regular tonight. You know her. Her always nervous stylings uh, are something to watch. Sometimes it's uh, electric. Sometimes, you know, we're working here with one of the newest comedians in the world. A new minute every single week. Put your hands together for Melissa Esslinger, everybody. <laughs> I was born a Jedi, but uh, my lightsaber was powered by generic batteries. <laughs> it's like I got a lightsaber on Christmas morning, and for whatever reason, even though they knew it needed to have batteries, they still had to get mad at me and go to 7-Eleven. But when my lightsaber doesn't work, I just put a helmet on. Because anybody wearing a helmet that's 26 years old, nobody's going to fuck with you. <laughs> I don't think there's one evil person in the world that wouldn't back off from a helmet on an adult. <laughs> this is one of those times for my helmet. Oh, there you go, 55 seconds of thunder and lightning from Melissa Essling. Working it out. That's fun. That sounds true and real. And you worked it into something and it grew the whole time. That was really great. Yeah. It's fun to see you get out of that little rut that you were in for a few weeks. How about one more hand from Melissa Essling? Not easy to do. fun. You got through it. it. Seemed like that really happened. You got a lightsaber when you were a kid, huh? No, but a lot of things that needed batteries, and we Came never had batteries. Generic batteries. Yeah. yeah. And you do seem like you actually own a helmet, do you? <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah. yeah. It's got fish on it. That's fun. Is this the first time you've seen Melissa? This is Esslinger? the first time I've seen her perform, and uh, I loved how honest that seemed. You know, you, I guess... I guess it felt like that was a real thing, and whether it's true or not, if it felt like it was real, that's the point. Oh, totally. A lot of comics just tell yeah. jokes sometimes, and you don't really feel like a personal connection, but generic batteries is a great topic. It says a lot about you and your family. <laughs> yeah. it's, it, it, it's a perfect way to explain a lot about who you and your world is to all of us. I thought that was really good and really fun. Thank yeah, you. And, I, and I want to ask, like, are, you, are, you, are you incredibly nervous right now, aren't you? Um, my body is. Yeah. Is this something? <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. I feel like a rapist all of a sudden, you know. <laughs> you nervous? Yeah. What? My body is nervous. <laughs> okay, but come on. But you're I very, just want to. You're very nervous right now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, just, but I want to say this. Like, um, you know, one, I appreciate that, like, since you've done this a few times, then you, you, you prepared for it. So you're like, okay, I have a minute, and you went through this. This is like a great exercise for doing comedy properly or trying to build an act. So that's a great skill you've learned. And the second thing is I can tell that you're very nervous, but even with that, you still – came up here and just like sold it and did it so you're able to deal with that nervousness because some people just can't do that yeah. you know what I mean well, so I, that's a real that was, yeah, you know, for guess. auditioning for a lot of things but you just got to work on not being so visibly nervous right. where we were, we're like oh shit is he going to fall or <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean, but like, but even just dealing with that, I commend you on dealing with it, and you know, great job, especially after all of this, and it you was, know, Jeremiah's gonna talk, and you know, what I mean, we're gonna. <laughs> what, what did you do different? What did you do different than last week? 
What was something different you did than the last week? Because last week, you know, it was really hard. But what, what was... Last week was so terrible, Brian's still ragging on you about it right now. <laughs> no, I just want to know the difference. You absolutely had a way different set this week. Uh, you were focused. You wrote material. Absolutely. What was the, the difference? Just the writing? Or did you go up more? Or? Camping. There you I like go. that. Got oh, your mind off everything. Can I, can I ask you? Mean, so last week she came up and it wasn't very good. No, was, she. And was, then you came back this week with this. Oh, even I commend you even yeah. more. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for, is, for, for even more. This is. Because uh, I wouldn't have done that when I first started. I had right. horrible experience. This, this is a yeah. very unique way to develop as a comic because most people, when they do open mics, getting better, it's not in front of a hundred, two hundred people that are actually mm. listening. It's in front of three comics. So it's not. For, for one, there's more stakes here, and uh, people are actually listening. So what I was going to say is, uh, in, in response to what Eric said, you look nervous, but but you speak clearly and loudly. Yeah, and if yeah, we yeah, couldn't yeah. hear you, it would, you'd be yeah, fucked. Right. <laughs> so I'm cool if she looks nervous, yeah. as long as she doesn't sound nervous. No, but you, I have you were shaking, but you absolutely killed it. And yeah. I think that's perfect for the special Muhammad Ali episode. Uh, <laughs> Well, maybe that's what she was doing. No respect. <laughs> <laughs> Why did did something happen? <laughs> yeah, a black oh, yeah, guy died. Uh, Wait, so I am just a boxer, and he sings a sing a song, and it shows. <laughs> the Paul Simon thing. Nobody heard that. Wow. The Paul Simon thing. You know, being topical? you know what's going well when you gotta announce what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the Paul Simon thing. Uh, nobody, Melissa, nobody. that was great. It, uh, writing a new minute and performing it's one of the hardest things right. in the world for a new comic. You Especially got a follow-up uh, with a follow-up set. Keep yeah. adding on to the generic battery shit. Yeah. That was funny, dude. Just keep, yeah, yeah. keep doing good. That's Maybe you have good. a generic battery dildo. It only gets you halfway there. Any other? You guys want to give me other ones? Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Huh? Take your hey, mind off you, stuff more often. Thank you, Hattie If going camping for a day or two was <laughs> good for you, then, you know, do... Go, there's, you don't have to go all the way to wherever to get away. You can go to a fucking hilltop or something yep. and just think for a few hours. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like it's going to help you. You're yeah. a very high-strung person. You're already less so nervous, too. Look at you. Yeah. You Getting feel more comfortable? Yeah. yeah. But don't be comfortable! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she was <laughs> out behind you! It's true. It's true. She was shaking a lot more, and now she's not shaking at all. Which, uh, by the way, shaking. I think is perfect for the Muhammad Ali episode <laughs> of... Uh, it's actually funnier that time, but it won't get because it's she the wasn't same shaking. Thing. But then she I am just a boxer and a Santa Santa song. You, guys yeah, you know the Paul Simon, Simon thing, thing, guys? <laughs> uh, there she goes, Melissa Esslinger with a brand new Groundhog one. Day. There you go. Somebody's gonna be on a mania for the rest of the night. Just stay away from Jonathan Gregory, and everything will be fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, nice job! Don't be scared! <laughs> <laughs> we have one other regular. Uh, oh. She oh. Uh, has been doing the show with Melissa for a few months now. How, much, how far are you guys going to go? Light it up! If it doesn't work the first two times, let's double down on the third. Uh, put your hands together for your next regular, Vanessa Johnston, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Oh, Ooh, guys. Um, I didn't, I didn't go to college. And uh, when I graduated high school, I applied for a job as an assistant. When I got to the interview, the guy was like, so you're going to be making coffee. Do you have a college degree? I was like, no. He was like, <sighs> our coffee maker is really complicated. Cause dude, it's like so crazy to me. Cause like what you learn in college is useless for like 80% of the jobs in the United States, you know? But like colleges want to make money any way they can. So they say everyone needs to go to college. Like everyone, even fucking Down syndrome, droopy-eyed little Jimmy who can't even see the textbook so that when he graduates he can spend the rest of his life working at the arc light to pay it off. <laughs> Stand up's hard. Okay. There you go. Exactly a minute. Vanessa uh, Johnston. 
Fuck yeah. It's going to be very hard for people to laugh at yeah. uh, at a Down person syndrome. like no, you no. making fun of Down syndrome people. Maybe you should try this though. Maybe, maybe she does this no, when she's no, telling no. the joke. No. There's no, I don't think tagging it's going to help that <laughs> one. Um, yeah, no, it's weird because so originally it was longer and I, I had to shorten it to make it a minute because it was a minute 30. I didn't know until I was like right before and I was like, fuck. Right, like so a Down like, syndrome, like the joke itself, you know, you had to lose a chromosome or two, you know, you had to cut it. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, it sounds mean, but like. <laughs> Bitch Cliff was on fire today, everybody. Today. Hey, hey Red Band, play the Down syndrome s track. Well, I mean, yeah. I okay. Obbity, 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 obbity. obbity. You're not, you don't have a Down syndrome queued up he already? Does. He actually does. Crazy. All right, now that's pretty talented right there. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, that's what you think of when you hear those like sea lions and you're at a hotel near the beach and you no, just don't hear don't it. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't rationalize the Down syndrome uh, sound effect. T Tony makes a great point. I mean, it's, it, it's going to be hard. You're a pretty woman. It's going to be hard for people to like you enough initially to let you make fun of a person oh, with Down syndrome. I'm not saying you can't right. do it. I'm not saying you can't do it. <laughs> But, but you, you need to, they need, they need to like you first. No, I know, 100%. Yeah. I, the problem was, is like, the original bit was longer, so like the middle of it was making fun of the colleges, because colleges now offer degrees for people with your special voice, needs. Your Hold voice, on. by the way, sounds like a 12-year-old boy from New York named like Joey, <laughs> like a bully. You have the voice of a 12-year-old male bully named Joey. So anyway, so oh like, uh, yeah. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. I don't know. She still gives me a cow a boner. <laughs> oh shit! They're Do you just think of that now? An hour and a half after the start of the show. It's called a cow uh, a call back, Tony. <laughs> cow dude, cow come back. on, man. Don't be a right. cow a uh, bummer over here, uh, dude. Wow. Well, you're, I would, you're really beating a dead cowabunga over there. Well, uh, I, I mean, all right. I would say, like, in this instance right now, it's just one of those where you just go, well, that just didn't work out right now. <laughs> okay. Like, trying to explain, like, how you were going to make that funny is not, you know what I mean? It's like, totally. whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I just think it's like one of those where you go, oh, this didn't work. I mean, you're always going to have to combat against what they're saying. You're right. coming out here and you're like, you know, down syndrome, whatever it is, right. you just got to own it. No matter what it is, you got to own it. And there's a little nervousness going up after everything that's going on. And then that, that you just didn't sell that one. That's all it is. And I'll like, bet you, you know? anything that there's something. Did you end up getting the job with the coffee thing? No, I didn't. You didn't get it. They yeah, yeah, really yeah. wanted. They got a Keurig and she didn't get the job. <laughs> 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 Jeremiah, you know what? I am in love with you tonight. Well, you know, it's funny. It's funny that he says that because I was thinking that myself too. Like, uh, like when you started saying that stuff, my first thought was like, I don't believe none of this. So then, like, now my brain just went someplace else, and then you're standing in front of me. So I'm like, trying not to look at your booty. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whoa! It, it just becomes that. You know what I mean? So no, no. But I'm saying like, you got to own whatever. Right. You have to own these things. You know, and it's just okay. Like. I always find that it's hard for attractive girls to talk about, you know, whatever they're going to talk about. Like, like, if this was a guy up here, we wouldn't care if a guy was up here talking about Down syndrome people. It wouldn't be a fucking issue. We would just be like, uh, it was it's funny or not. But so immediately, because it's, you know, a pretty yeah. girl, we got to be like, well, hey, you can only talk about certain things. But that's just the reality of it. So yeah. I'm just saying, like, you but just got to own this more. It's yeah, everything. True. It's Hang true. six. <laughs> you know? It's true. Like, Jim... Uh, uh, Chris Farley falling on a table is a lot funnier than fucking Rob Lowe falling on a table. You know, it is the same. In Not some to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fuck Rob Lowe. Is, is, is that true? Is that true that there's degrees for kids with Down syndrome? Yeah, dude. Okay, so so look, look. I, I, yeah, yeah. You just told that to me not during the joke. No, I know. And I think that is a hilarious, yeah. fascinating topic. You're gonna have to figure out how to navigate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. I didn't realize you get. I didn't realize you get a bachelor's in finger painting. Yeah. No, exactly. I saw like that. Like they were like alternative textbooks. It was like what? That's like Dr. Seuss. Like you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're charging like forty thousand dollars. <laughs> Fuck you, Red Band. Okay, bye. <laughs> I think. I think we just. It's a tough subject. I think we just yeah. got to see the part that was cut, right? It's a tough subject, and you know, look, every joke has a degree of difficulty, right? 
And as you get better and more skilled at stand-up comedy, I believe you can take on higher degrees of difficulty. That is a high degree of difficulty. Absolutely. I'm not saying you can't do it, but you may you, you may want to put that on it. the back boner. You didn't totally you just didn't do it. Correctly. Totally agree with that. But this is totally you know you're in one of those situations where you're on such an interesting path, having to write and perform a new minute every week in front of everybody. That it. With that said, I've, I've always looked at it like taking chances like that yeah, yeah, is like sure. working out with ankle weights on, so that a other jokes are going to be better by you taking those chances, and then who knows? You go back and you remember that you used to do like a half thing about that, and with your yeah. new weaponry, you're, you might be able to knock that out of the park. Yes, and I will say this again: if you you go up here and you do this and it doesn't work, just go. Oh, that one didn't work. You don't got to explain and you rationalize why it wasn't funny. You know right. what I mean? Because we all say shit that's not funny. Yeah. So just go, well, what's all funny? All the time. Like, you, like you've on. seen Eric on the show tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> See, like, that didn't work. You know what I mean? It doesn't work. You, you know, know but I mean? he's not going, you know, a minute ago I was going to say it like this and then I was going to like, you know, you don't have to do that. It's just, he, he, it didn't work. We move on. You know what I mean? Also, well, if you, know? you do work out with ankle weights, I'd recommend Runyon Canyon. There's a lot of other people that use ankle weights up there as well. It's See, once again, there. jokes don't always work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And if you, uh, if you like working out with ankle weights, uh, Jonathan Gregory has some cement yeah. shoes that he'd love to strap on you to take you on a little boat trip. You well, you know who does actually Call use ankle back. weights? Uh, those fucking Down Syndrome kids. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> it's raining, man! Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Anywho, Vanessa Johnston, there she goes, everybody, chance, another Vanessa. brand new minute from Vanessa Thank Johnston. You. There she goes. <sighs> what goes up? We did it. Must come down. Do we get paid for this? Yeah. Yeah. Let me wait, 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 pull wait, one wait, more. Wait, wait, start? <laughs> I'm going to pull one more name out of the bucket. Is that cool with you guys? Yeah. Oh, there's a whole uh, it's Ron K. There's a whole Asian table over there. I didn't notice that. I think it's it is. I, I love this <laughs> I love this podcast because I stood up the second time after that terrible joke, and this man right here goes, sit the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> you will never fucking believe what name I just pulled out oh, of this bucket. Shit. Oh. Jeremiah Watkins? <laughs> no. Everybody. There, this seed was planted on the show earlier, and I cannot fucking believe that I get to say this right now for the first time ever on this show. Wow. Put your hands together for Ichabod. Yeah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I like hookers. <laughs> I like hookers because a hooker will never walk up with, to me with the clipboard and ask me if I'm registered to vote. Can I talk about GMOs, genetically modified food? <laughs> they made giant red tomatoes as big as my hand. Giant watermelons with no seeds. They, they have cattle with the beef and the fat perfectly balanced for the superior deliciousness. But I think they've gone too far with these boneless chickens. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Ichabod, how excited am I right now? Hey, Red Band. Hey, what's up? <laughs> now, hey, Ich Ichabod, Kid, oh, Kid he Rock. He knows Rock Red Band. <laughs> Kid Rock has really let himself go, huh? I mean, I, not, can I say my favorite part about this whole thing? Is yeah. he has this, those jokes were written down. Uh, <laughs> in this part. If you're going to write it down, you better deliver it perfectly because you got the words right fucking hey, there. Hey, Tony, I have a question for Ichabod. <laughs> yes, yeah. Jeremiah. Is your mother's maiden name Golem? <laughs> uh. 
super fat habit sauce. Super, super, really super fat. Really set up for this one. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, let's, uh... Okay, very good. There you go. That was the Ball with the Ball 45-second part of the show. Uh, Ichabod, what's your story? My name is Smeagol! <laughs> Super fat habit sauce. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, put him back on. Put him back on. Put him back on. Put him back on. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Ichabod, wow. He looks like a, a white vampire slayer <laughs> switchblade. <laughs> I, I don't know about you. I'm surprised this guy's friends with Ron K. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Ichabod, here we go. Um, what do you do for work? Uh, you definitely don't whistle for work, right? <laughs> Okay, let's discuss the teeth and get it out of the way. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm on disability for post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic oh, stress. God. Fuck yeah, you, you, kill, you killed some of Tam Fam's relatives at some yeah. point in your life, I'm guessing. Right? Nothing? Okie dokie. Uh, Are you a vet? Did you serve? No, I, uh, I'm from Las Vegas. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no. It's the same. Same yeah. difference. He's Las he's Vegas, hey, Vietnam, same thing. He serves. <laughs> He serves Applebee's, you know, yeah. Friday nights. The free wow. Well, those Imperial customers. You need Imperial Palace. Well, do you always yeah. wanted to do comedy? Is that what, what's your situation yeah, with comedy? Yeah, I've been to do it for over two years now. So oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. Ever since you show. stopped uh, cutting off people's heads on horses, uh, Ich Ichabod's an interesting name. Uh, what's it been like going through life with a name like Ichabod? Well, it, I was at the bar and, uh, you know, people give nicknames. Imagine that. And I got Ichabob. Everyone laughed, and I said, "Stop laughing! I'll actually change my name to Ichabob," and they laughed harder. You showed them. <laughs> so not even on a dare, you just said yeah. to them, "Ichabod." And after a while, it just kind of stuck. So, what form of transportation did you yeah, run exactly. <laughs> from Vegas? Did you guys like what? What, what is this? Some kind of fucking like oh, leopard a ride, ride, ride or something like that? Got, yeah, no, it's for sure Greyhound. With my uh, uncle Ronnie K. So we I called all the ravens uncle? in the sky. Yeah. Ron, yeah. Ron is your uncle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. So this was a family trip. Yeah. <laughs> right. You got <laughs> yeah. all in the family. Yeah. That's Ron cool. Ron and you, you guys came here for this Kill Tony podcast. Yes. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's Some of the Kill awesome. Tony fans, I think, actually come here to, to kill Tony. Uh, <laughs> then that's why I have a weapon here. They think defend. that's what they're signing up for, and then they get stuck. Uh, <laughs> that's that's fun. I love you, Tony. Can, you I, thank you. Can, can I ask you and Uncle Ronnie... How awesome. you guys listen to podcasts? Like, yeah. I mean, uh, I didn't know. I didn't know podcasts like, came over uh, Amber AM, Alerts. AM yeah, radio. He goes, he goes online. He tries to, but he, like what he's trying to explain, every time he tries, these the the screen comes up. You downloaded viruses. Like, fuck, I gotta get a new computer. No, that that you that viruses. That was your doctor's report, Ichabod. Yeah. Uh, well, they're so probably they're clearly on Windows 98 still. You listen. Sure. <laughs> You listen to Kill Tony Winnie's, on, on Win Uncle Ronnie's computer? No. Yeah. Win no, Yours. Win what do you have, a gateway? <laughs> no, he's the only guy that listens to it on a police scanner. Uh, <laughs> Ichabod, how do you... Uh, okay, so... <laughs> Why was Boing funny for that? <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> could, he, could he just over there looking, I need something, I need something. <laughs> That's so fun. Ichabod, what are some other hobbies that you have? Hobbies? Uh... Other than scaring people half to death. <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe fan club. Uh. Is the hair attached to the hat? <laughs> if it was, that would be really what fucked up. <laughs> no. no, where did you get these jokes? Did you write those jokes? Or, yeah, I've been writing. I got like for two, two hours. But then you got I'm two like hours? Half of those. I well, how did you narrow all that down to a minute? <laughs> You got, you got through by the skin of your teeth, I'll tell you. And that's, as we can see, not very much. Uh, <laughs> nothing on that? Come on. You perform in Las Vegas? You perform in Las Vegas? Stand-up comedy? Yeah, I've been there for 20 years. This is my first time, though. No, I know. I know first time to L.A.? Or first time on, on stage? Everything? 
first almost. time, first time doing comedy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Fuck yeah. yeah, that's amazing, Ichabod. I love it. Yeah. Do you play any instruments or do any I other types? I should. I should. I, you should. Oh you wow! Should. You answer yeah. like you play too many late. instruments just to say you should. Yeah. Did you did you help Uncle Ron with the dog training or? Nah, nah. What's so? What's an interesting no, fact was, about Ich yeah. Ichibod other than Ichibod? <laughs> He's got an itchy bod. Yeah. Is that what you mean? <laughs> I'm afraid of large bodies of water. <laughs> You're Say that again. I'm afraid of large bodies of water. Like, <laughs> like, like the Bellagio fountains? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had this nightmare when I was a kid <laughs> about <laughs> being in like my bathtub, but it had no sides or bottom. I was just water everywhere, and it was going yeah. dark. And this was like I was three or four. Think about you were in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. No, I, but... There was no bottom or sides. I was drawing. My mom freaks out. So then she goes, "Tell me if you had that nightmares keep coming." So they kept coming, and then I would like ha keep having the nightmares, but I didn't want to tell her because that oh, freaked her out. Let me ask so you something. You're afraid of large bodies of water. Yeah, Are you yeah, afraid of uh, small bodies of water as well? Do you take showers regularly? Oh, yeah, yeah. Every day? <laughs> no, that's fine. I just uh, I'm gonna. I yeah. feel like I'm gonna drown, or that's like. You know, one of those dreams where it's forecasting or what's that called? What's that called? The so afraid of water for real? Hydrophobia. Hydrophobia. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremiah. Yeah. That's the only serious thing he said all day. Yeah. Clearly, you suffer from hydrophobia as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, he yeah. knows Sorry. because he lives in a sewer when right. he's. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! What's up, dude? What's oh up? God! Oh! Why, Tony? Sensei Tony. Ichabod, did you know we have a sword here? Uh, no, no, there, come on. No, I'm kidding. Would you take okay. your sunglasses off? Awesome. Do, do lasers shoot out of your eyes? No. <laughs> Bummer. What is that? <laughs> Bummer. Is that an X-Men I reference? had a question for Ichabod. <laughs> Ichabod, is it true what you said? Do you really love hookers? Is that true? Do you, do you oh, they're fun, yeah. They're, yeah. They're good uh, what, is, what? That, is there anything How interesting you? that you make them do when you have one uh, come over? Or you like try to pay them extra to see if they do anything freaky? Or are you just like a blowjob sex missionary position kind of guy? Or... And how much hooker money do you have on you right now? Yeah. How much of Uncle Ron's hooker money do you spend? How much of his pension? Well, if you kill them afterwards, you don't have to pay them. You know, guys. Uh, I used to be an assistant. We learned that from Jonathan. <laughs> used to be what? Sorry? I used to be an assistant for a hooker. Oh. Money. That's how I got so you got her coffee. Wait, hold on. Did you get demoted from <laughs> pimp? Wait, you were a hooker's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> you went to Starbucks and got her lattes before she <laughs> sucked <laughs> dick on her. That's right. Uh, I you have a pimp and then the hooker yeah. and then the hooker has an assistant. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Did she send you to get slapped around for her? It looks like Ichabod took the majority of the slaps in this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tapping out. Can you finish sucking this dick for me? <laughs> <laughs> when, um, was, when was the last time you were with a hooker? Oh god, ten, uh, ten years. Ten wow. years. Oh. Oh wow. Ten, right. Oh, you knew it was sex. What? Uh, I, do you like feet? Are you a feet guy? What's your thing? What are you uh, into with the ladies? Uh, favorite favorite part of the lady? Sometimes I get wild and introduce them to my mother. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the female uh, anatomy? <laughs> Jagged teeth. What's your favorite I, part of the... I think, uh, I think his battery just ran out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying to get an answer to that. Something in my gut's telling me it's going to be so good when he finally yeah. says it. What's your favorite... What's the most beautiful part of a woman to you? Uh, good conversation. Woo! <laughs> 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 so basically the throat. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. <laughs> Good concentration <laughs> conversation. What's the coolest thing you ever talked to a hooker about? Oh, oh. Uh, Can we oh, do a thing where uh, you close your eyes and talk to a fake hooker right now in front of everybody? We have one that's uh, over the loudspeakers willing to talk to you. All right, let me think of uh, a time that. Hey, uh, stud. Hey, wait. Hey, the we're, hooker's we're calling. calling. This, this uh, hooker cannot okay. figure out how her phone works. It's an old school hooker, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now she's in school? school? <laughs> this hooker is in a fire is this, house. Is this first period of I'm hooker keeping, school? <laughs> it, 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 I'm keeping you about late after Bell class. And the no cards Las out Vegas hooker again. school. I think uh, Julian, <laughs> Julian just rode his bike home. <laughs> okay, the hooker's on the phone for you, Ichabod. Go ahead, hooker, any time now. Do I have to answer it? This hooker... <laughs> I, Pick up. That's I, got, a guy I got food in the oven. I am hungry. I, 
He's You're hungry now? I love it. Hiccup on, I'm going to let you go. Attention. Before you eat us. Uh, it was so nice to have you on this show. Congratulations oh. on your first time on stage. Yeah. Fucking Ichabod. <laughs> wow. Uh, I feel like this is one of those shows where a lot of the fans are going to see uh, some of the fans of the show talking about being fans. Like, they come on, they're like, oh, I'm a fan. And the fans are going to be like, what kind of show did I get myself into? <laughs> Am I going to turn into that at some point? I'm perhaps? so happy that they drove in from Vegas and they both yeah. got yeah, that's on awesome. the It's unfucking believable. One more time for Ron K. and Ichabod. Like I said at the beginning of the show, it's all about the crazy shit that can have happen with a random bucket. I'm going to show you right now the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. How about that? He did this with his fucking hands while you guys were all laughing yeah. for free in so a showroom. Cool. Ryan J. Wow. Ebelt drew that shit. Right there. There you go. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. That's the sound of the middle of the crowd. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's that looks freaky. great. I don't know how you do that. I don't appreciate that double chin, but... <laughs> You mother so <laughs> realistic, Ryan. So realistic. <laughs> Just draw, draw on what he sees. <laughs> Guys, we did it. Uh, where do we begin? <laughs> Reagan and Watkins. Reagan has a new album out. Not Jeremiah Watkins. You. Guys. At Jeremiah's stand up. At Patty Reagan. And Joel Jimenez is at Mostly Sorry on Twitter. Yes, Joel Jimenez, Double yeah. J, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yes, yes. Patty Reagan. Hit us up. The man, the myth, the legend, Patty Reagan. Buy all of his, uh, find all of his albums everywhere. Listen to him. Tell your friends. Pat Reagan smells like shit. And what's the other one again? Other, other music. What? Other music online. Other music. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep googling Pat Reagan. R E G A N over and over again. Yeah. Eric Griffin, Workaholics, another season. Thank you. You're on Twitter at Eric Griffin, E R I K. Yes. G R I F F I N. Yes, sir. And then there's the great Mike Costa, ladies at, and gentlemen. Thank Come you on. very much. I'm at uh, creepycomedy.com. <laughs> uh, you just bought it. Go to my website. <laughs> bought it. Go to my website, michaelcosta.com. That's got everything. Thank you very much. I love this podcast. Thank you for having me as a guest, man. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Visit his website. He's touring everywhere. We're touring everywhere. TonyHinchcliffe.com, DeathSquad.tv, Brian Redband, bring us home. Josh Martin, comic, runaround producer. Brian. Denver this week, New York City next week. Live audience, thank you. Good night. Yeah.